So what has happened is that, by omission, a state is now conferred illegal and unconstitutional immunity from being investigated for financial misconduct and looting of state funds. The UK government insists that the EFCC does not possess the power to investigate the financial tra transaction of the state. According to the governor, before the EFCC could investigate the River State Government, it must first vacate the Federal High Court judgment that restrained it from investigating the finances of the state during the orderly era. So there's really no excuse why the EFCC has been quiescent and has turned its back on this very critical action which it should have taken to open the doors towards investigating all governments in this country and government officials, states and federal, who have been guilty of massively looting the resources of this country. The EFCC owes the nation the duty to set aside this roadblock to a sane and sanitized society.